a lot of people join the guard just so that they can help their community and i'm very grateful that i could be providing some sort of effort to help alleviate you know some of the duress that the state is under so part of what i do is help run the operations center here and try to provide a big picture for the leadership you know far levels above us so that they can make the best decisions at the national level as well as the state and uh, local levels so the JOC stands for the Joint Operations Center. Basically, we are essentially a liaison office between the New Jersey Office of Emergency Management and the rest of the New Jersey National Guard. We re receive requests from the National Guard Bureau down in Washington, D.C. as to updates as to what we are doing in, in regards to coronavirus support. Um, we receive requests from the New Jersey State Police, New Jersey Office of Emergency Management, and in this case, in regards to coronavirus, receiving requests from the New Jersey Department of Health to help support and augment uh, their missions and their needs. To be not in the field, which I normally am, and to have a different perspective here, it's different to see, I like it. It's a whole different view to be able to see the missions come from the top and go out to you know the different sites or if they need medics somewhere, we're the ones that are actually working the missions that are needed for the state for COVID-19. It's uh, been a real eye opener for sure. Um, this is the first time anybody's ever done or anything of this sort. And just seeing all the missions going on, all the people that are out there on the front lines, putting their lives at risk to help out everybody else, the civilians, uh, military and the state police and, and the nurses all working together. Having the joint effort has definitely been a beneficial and instrumental part of this operation, only because we get to see from different perspectives of all levels of the organization. It's not only green, it's also blue. So we're able to provide all of our brains together and come up with analytics that'll provide assistance to the operation itself. What we're doing here is a very small part of it. I think really the folks that are working that make the most impact are the doctors and nurses, you know, our active duty and reserve staff that are augmenting those hospitals. Title 10 medical providers working all over the state doing just amazing things. My name is Staff Sergeant Carl Enriquez. I'm with the Army National Guard. My name is Specialist Benjamin Castro with the New Jersey National Guard. My name is Master Sergeant Kimberly Kaminsky. I work for the one way Security Forces Squadron for the Air National Guard. My name is Staff Sergeant Ashley Santana, and I work for the New Jersey National Guard. Oh, my name is CW2 Timothy Hardinico. I am the officer in charge of the Joint Directorate of Intelligence and Security. Commander Shana Donaldson. I'm actually a Coast Guard commander, but I'm assigned to NORTHCOM uh, J36 Domestic Operations.